Okay, so we've got our room, 56 floor, Le Bois. Can show you the balcony, don't have access to the balcony yet because we've just got up here and apparently they're all locked until the bellboy comes up to unlock it for you. But definitely show you some views later on. Or bathroom. King size bed. And hopefully you get a bit of an idea, but that's what our views are going to look like tonight. <laughs> yeah, awesome. So anyway, we're going to get the going to go down and hit the club floor, and uh, see what that's all about too. Oh, nice temple down the bottom there as well. So anyway, level fifty six, Le Bois Hotel. Ducky ducky. Here's the views. It's going to look even more specky at night, I suspect. In fact, I know. That is one hell of a view of Bangkok. And we're almost on the corner, so not so much obstruction. Awesome. So far, so good. Okie dokie, so we're at uh, level 52 of Le Bois. This is the club floor, and this is all inclusive up till 6 p.m. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. We've got some salads. We've got some dips and stuff, sushi, we've got some fruit on the other side, cakes, there's bread over the other side. I don't want to get too many people in here. Okay, I've taken a picture of the alcohol menu. So, anyway, just a sec. Yeah. So it's got beer, wine and some spirits on there, good enough for us. So it's all inclusive and I guarantee you I'm going to make the most of it so unbelievable views as well so well worth it for the money you pay considering how much I've heard um, drinks whether alcoholic or non-alcoholic cost here on uh, some of the other levels and bars here which can set you back as much as the price of a hotel for half a dozen cocktails so anyway glad to be here we've got about three and a half hours left at the club floor and yes, definitely going to make the most of, uh, of the alcoholic beverages and the uh, snackies. So, see you later. Okay, so it's gone past three and they started to bring out they had the afternoon stuff, like two to three. And then they started to bring out some more kind of hot food here at the club floor. So, And a couple more desserts on the other side. Oops. And just try not to film people here because people don't like to get filmed. Okay, so this is cool. So, just outside the club lounge is this little walkway here. You can just come outside. It's going to be blisteringly hot, so right now. And so it goes. But, that'll give you a bit of a view from outside. Back towards the club level. Le Bois or Le Bois depending who you speak to. I've said it before, honestly, Bangkok, this is the home of the sky bar, the rooftop bar, rooftop restaurants, phenomenal. Let's have a quick walk down here. Well, there's no people here. I'm trying to kill myself walking down the stairs. 
but uh, we're on to our second drink and it's probably safer if I come out here now check that out <laughs> phenomenal oh back that direction home is back over there that direction Hoi Kwang and there's Icon Siam Apparently there's a bit of a light show or something down there. Don't know whether we can get it from our room, but absolutely amazing. Get the club floor, folks. Get the club floor. It's good value for money. Anyway, head to, time to head back inside, see what damage we can do before. Well, we've got about three hours and 15 minutes left. I'm sure we will. See you later. from a very uh, misty slash foggy Bangkok just about to leave Le Bois. We had a great time so let's knock off this for a start okay so I was quite surprised to learn because of the style that uh, we were shocked that this was opened in 2006. Now we live at a apartment block in Surface Paradise that was open at the same time and it looks uh, so modern compared to this. So style wise they didn't style it for the you know the future it's kind of like that venetian you see some of the pictures i think you know with these column columns around the balcony that sort of thing you know all circular blah 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 so you know when you walk into the room don't expect modern a modern look to it though it was immaculately clean and obviously huge here on the club level because they're 66 square meters so all in all it's showing its age. I'll put it to you this way, even though it's immaculately clean, it's definitely showing its age, but that's just getting that bit out of the way. So, staff are really nice. Of course they are normally in a kind of five-star hotel. They're normally nice and pleasant, but they weren't kind of snooty. One thing before I forget, if you're on, you book a club floor, so we're in, what do they call it? It's called Labuya Tower Club, or Tower Club Labuya. So, men have to wear long pants to the club level now there was one girl there that i'd noticed she was wearing the shortest of shorty shorts and they didn't seem to matter but just a word of warning it's part of the policy here and they won't let you in if you don't have long pants so just get that out of the way as well you didn't need a collared shirt or anything else it was just a long pants rule so might have mentioned at the start we got this room it was a friday night we got it for 253 australian and worked that out to be 170 US dollars. And for that, club floor, 
Everything in the club floor is free. Whatever food, whatever drinks, whether it's alcoholic, non-alcoholic, whatever nibbles, whatever finger food, etc., etc., is all included in that price and it's absolutely worth it. So as an example, if you were to go and drink at one of the bars here and you weren't, well, club floor doesn't include this, but if you were to come here and drink at one of the other bars, their signature hangover teeny from the movie is $310 when you include the 10%, uh, sorry, the 17% service charge and tax, right? Cocktails at any of the bars, the cheapest I could find is three times the price of any other Sky Bar here. We've been to some beauties, like fantastic, modern, glitzy, three times the price starting here, the cocktails let alone the ones we went to that are a happy hour. So, yes, six times the price of some of the happy hour rooftop bars we've been to. So, we had a look at one of their degustation menus at one of the restaurants here, one of the Michelin ones, and it was 800 Australian dollars per person if you did the wine, the wine pairing. That gives you an idea. And meanwhile, we're in the club floor, drinking to our heart's content, eating whatever they put out, and it's all included for that 170 US. So I worked it out that, well, I won't tell you how many drinks we had. Let's just say we made the most of the four hours we had on the club floor. Now it is basic-ish. You get, I think, a choice of like four wines, a couple of beers, uh, a vodka, a gin, a rum, and a whiskey. They did have Jewers 12, which is a you know, well-known good blend and they did do cocktails so they do one cocktail each so you have to ask them not on the menu so they do one cocktail each based on those four spirits so if you want a cocktail so there was gin fizz a mojito a whiskey sour and i forget what the vodka one was but you can ask for that as well so i worked it out that with the drinks we had based on the fact they don't have Jewers 12 at any of the bars but I looked at Jewers 18 price and I know for a fact back home the 12 year old to buy bottles are roughly just a bit under half the price of the 18. So working it out on that just drinks alone on the prices you'd pay in one of the bars here was twice the value of what we paid to stay here. So it worked out at 510 Australian dollars just in the drinks. So do the math. Club floor is absolutely worth it. Uh, what else? So the, yeah, the food was, you know, you're not getting outstanding food, but you could literally eat there and not have to eat anything else. We did go out just out on the street. Later on, I went to this little restaurant around the corner there. I think we paid, paid like $8 US for a couple of meals as well. So we just went out as well. So definitely worth the club floor, an absolute bargain. I can tell you, that what we got here, if that was a bar in a similar style of five-star hotel in Sydney, we would pay a thousand Australian dollars with what we ate, drank. You also get buffet breakfast now. We know for a fact that generally speaking, the club floor breakfasts aren't that great from the club floors we've been on before. So we went down to the main breakfast place downstairs as well. So we used that. Then we ended up coming up. And it was two hours later, I ended up getting eggs benedict at the club floor as well. And then we had, well, because we could, we don't normally do it, but we had a couple of glasses of wine as well. So all of that for 170 US dollars. So highly recommend if you get it at the right price. We're not rich. So for us to get something like that, we were living like millionaires for bargain basement prices. So highly recommend coming here. If you're rich and wealthy and all that sort of thing, that's fine, you won't care. If you're like us and you want to do something special for a night or two, Definitely look at booking the club floor here at La La Bois, La Bois, La Bois. But definitely look at booking that. Absolute bargain. And if we were in Bangkok again, we would definitely come back. So hope that's a decent little summary for you. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. We're just about to head off to Paragon. We're going to pick ourselves. There you go. Another bargain. We're going to get ourselves a nice piece of imported Japanese wagyu. Um, five plus score marbling, something like that. Probably cost you 400 bucks here or something. We're going to get that for about 50 bucks Australian. So 400 Australian, if you were to eat it here, 50 to 60 down there in Paragon. I'll let you know when we get there once we've chosen it. So we're off to do that. And then tonight, off to the Muay Thai. So a big weekend for us. So take care, folks. See you soon. Bye for now.